Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So we are at Antius now, and if we have a look on the navigation here, we've jumped around a little bit. I tried to pick up some, uh, or find, try to find a place here that uh, was going to give us some good missions. Um, I didn't really find that many, but we're here now, and I've spent a bunch of sea bills, so this is a two and a half skull world. Um, the contracts here aren't the best, but we've got a couple we can do. I spent a bunch of sea bills getting the lances up and running, so I figured rather than jumping at this point uh, and spending another uh, 600,000, um, I'd try to get some funds here before we leave. There's a couple missions that we can do, I think, uh, that are going to work out pretty good. Uh, so with that said, let's see where we spent the money. So first of all, let's go to the barracks. We've got two ex extra pods now. We've got Focus. Um, who's a criminal, uh, he's a, uh, a merchant too, he's a smuggler, so independent trader. So we get a discount to buying stuff at shops, uh, reduced injury times, might steal a few sea bills for us, athletic, beautiful. And then we picked up uh, Swift, who, uh, if we look at his service record, just a Canopian periphery spacer guy, uh, discount to buying merchandise in the shops, reduce injury time. Um, so I picked up those two guys for the third lance. The third lance is going to be led by, uh, where are you here? Scramble. She'll lead the third lance. And then we'll have a uh, secondary pilot will be Earthquake. And then um, Focus and Swift will be in there as well. So that's the second lance. Now, let's go to Mech Bays real quick. So here's what we have. The Centurion has gone into storage for now. So we can get a good weapon for that arm. Um, it wasn't really giving me what I wanted. So the main last, now I've added a bunch of minor tweaks to a lot of these mechs. Um, so if we go, let's have a look at this guy here first. Um, the lamb mech. Now I've got a medium pulse laser in both arms. Now I, I changed it a bit. We pulled out a lot, of the, a lot of the SRMs. Went with medium pulse lasers for better to hit. Chances, tag barrage still stays here with the regular tag. Only got a pair of two SRMs with regular SRM ammo. Um, I think I want to use, we got the chaff countermeasures and an exchanger in here as well. I think I want to use this guy um, primarily as a spotter. We use the ping a lot more, I think. Um, but we weren't getting a lot of damage done with the weapons. So I'm hoping the medium pulse lasers help that out a little bit, especially with the AMSs and stuff. So we'll try this and see how it goes. Um, but uh, I'm not really sure. I might go back to the SRMs. I don't know. I, I'm really kind of up in the air. We've only got limited space, um, so I'm really hoping that this works out. So that's this guy. And then let's go to uh, the Mian Xian. Now, we didn't do much on this one. I pulled out the two standard SRMs and put in the the Irian ones that we picked up, or Irians, uh, with recoil. Now, I'm hoping that this fire control system minus two recoil will, will mitigate each one of these. Uh, we got a pair of BR medium lasers, tag barrage, and the, and the regular SRM ammo on this guy. So hoping this works out, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, we got the advanced zoom on this guy, for hope, hopefully for a better chance to hit. Now I picked up a couple of things like that, like a chaff. Uh, I think it was just chaff or AMS flare, I think it was, in the store. Pretty sure. Now we didn't change this mech very much. Um, Got the SLDF cockpit in here, the Chief Vegan. I think that's all. I don't think I did anything to this mech, actually. I think this one stayed exactly the same. It looks that way. I don't think we changed anything on this mech. Oh, you know what? I think we added the ferro fibers and upped the armor. I think that's what we did. Uh, the Archer. We've got a little uh, asterisk here on the Archer because I decided to go ahead and put that MRM... Panzerfaust thing on this guy's hands. You need two hands to be able to use this, and this mech is one of the only ones that we have that has two hands. So I dropped it in here. Um, I pulled the exchanger out because we, well, we did we, we pulled it out before because we had the uh, double heat sink kit in here. Um, but everything else stayed the same. I have a half a ton of MRM ammo. I had to drop the armor slightly to get this in. I was able to buy this in the store. So hopefully we get 10 turns of firing now. It's giving me this asterisk because it says I've got ammunition that it can't use. So I'm not sure if it recognizes this as being able to use it. Or if I have to load, I don't know where, I don't know. I don't know what I have to do, but I'm going to try it and see what happens. Uh, we'll know today if this is working or not. And then... We've got our second lance. I've always wanted to have an urban mech lance, and now we've kind of got one. So the Irinia that we picked up, that's going to be the lead uh, mech. And let's have a look at this guy. Now the loadouts on these aren't perfect, but they are what they are. So i got the medium X pulse in here and a medium pulse laser in the arm. Loaded it down with rockets, a couple of single rocket pack 15s and a pair of rocket pack, or sorry, rocket 15s and rocket pack 10s. 
these will give us five turns of firing um, bunch of heat sinks now it's got the built-in heat bank and exchanger so it keeps this mech really nice and cool now I'm hoping that we can pick up some PPCs for this because it does have the uh, improved cooling for the PPCs so I'm hoping that we can get some more like snub nose PPCs or something for this but for now this is kind of where it is it's a 180 core We've also got a medium laser in the center torso as a backup weapon because once the rockets are gone we're going to need a little bit more firepower so it's not bad for a 35 ton mech it's relatively fast like the movement is what uh five eight so it's not that bad it's it's enough to uh, work well with the urban mechs so let's have a look at them so the first one here is the r25 and it looks weird here uh but this is going to be our missile mech now this was the one that had all the rocket packs on it so this is going to be our missile mech we got a pair of four lrm fives on this guy um with lrm dead fire regular l and regular lrm ammo we've got enough for i think I think it's like six, nine, twelve turns of firing with the LRMs, and then we got the ER medium laser to back up on. Guardian ECM and a hundred core engine. Uh, the hundred core is it actually gives us some okay movement for an urban mech. Three five is actually not bad, uh, considering it's like one two with the regular core in it. So that's that one. The second urban mech here is slightly different. So this was our laser version before. So now we have an ER large and a regular large laser in this guy with an exchanger built in. Uh, it doesn't have a um, a double heat sink kit, so it is fairly hot. Not like terrifically hot, because we were able to stuff a bunch of heat sinks in this. And it's got a 120 core, so it's actually relatively fast. So this guy's good, it's like 4.6. I mean, for an urban mech, it's relatively fast. Um, but this is going to be our pinpoint mech, hopefully. We got the fire control system improved. I think we picked this up off of the Arania, I believe. But I dropped it in here for the one gunnery to help out the lasers a bit. Uh, hopefully we can land some shots and we've got the AMS flare in here to keep it protected So I'm hoping that works out and then we've got the last one down here This was the one that I had the LBX on originally that I took off that we lost from the Centurion uh, Now I put the AC5 on this one It's a uh, Mirdrin So um, we've got one ton was able to pick up one ton of ammo it's got an AMS flare built in, but I mean, this is plus one accuracy and one evasion pip, uh, or sorry, one recoil, but plus one accuracy. We got the ballistic plus one accuracy as well. So hopefully we'll be hitting fairly well with this. And I kept the ER medium laser magna just for the extra punch and damage. Uh, but it's got a 155 core. So this guy's relatively maneuverable compared to the other mechs. I mean, I didn't really have any other cores to use. So it's a 5.8, it's a little faster, can get into position a little better. Uh, and hopefully we can put some smack down on with these with these two weapons But you know it is what it is and all these mechs all the urban mechs pretty much have maxed out armor, too So hopefully they can stay in the battle now. They're pretty much one skull uh, This is a one skull lance. I think one and a half one skull lance So uh, we don't have anything on this planet to, for these guys to do but next episode I'm gonna Trump jump to a planet where we can get these guys into battle So let's have a look at the at the uh, command center now for contracts Yo, what's up, buddy? All right, so we've got a few here. We can do Black Sight, which is one of the ones I want to do, but it's against uh, Capella. So before we drop um, any rep from Capella, I want to do a Capella mission. So we're going to take this one, assassinate in the Polar region, two skulls. I'm interested to see how we do with this one. Um, and it's against the locals. So we're not going to lose any rep with um, House Merrick. And then we'll take the Merrick mission against Capella. So hopefully, you know, it'll balance out the um, the rep for these two missions here so we don't lose too much from Capella because we, we want options for the future now I do want to do pirate missions but a three skull assassinate mission I think is a little bit beyond what we have right now I mean if we get lucky and, and there's a, like a lower level lance there uh, then then you know we're good to go but if we get a lance with heavy mechs and stuff in it we're gonna be in trouble so uh, we're gonna go with the two skulls right here for now so we're gonna take the war criminal gonna go negotiate this sucker and gonna go for full salvage We'll accept it, and we'll take our standard lance. Um, yeah, let's do this. Yep, I know. Okay, here we go. Interested to see what we're up against. Looks like we got a lance with us, which is good. Um, looks like two lances and a main guy. I don't know what that is. Or it could be, yeah, two lances and the main guy, probably. Help yeah. Yourself. Oh, there's three of them. Local government support lance, ambushers, local government forces, and then war criminals. So we're looking at 13 guys, 13 V8, 
What do we got here? Ultra light carrier. Oh, that's not... Okay, LM-15 swarm. Trebuchet with MRMs and, and long fire. Light carrier with mortars. Gotta stay out of that guy's way. And a fire bee with a plasma cannon. Okay, well that doesn't... Uh... Alright, well... I don't know what that guy is, but let's... Um... You know what? Let's reserve. Waiting for the right move. Yeah. I don't know Commander. where ambushers would be. Unless it's these guys. I don't know. Uh, let's get into here. Looks like a vehicle here. Embrace. Rocket techie, okay. Should be able to take that guy out. Oh, really? Be careful, Commander. You don't want to get caught in a crossfire. Well, thanks for dropping us here. It's really, really appreciated. As somebody mentioned before, oh, you know, it's not Darius that dropped us here. Well, you know what? He's the one that came up with the battle plan. Samaria is the one that's dropping us, sure, but she's not the one coming up with the battle plan. He's the operations guy. That doesn't sound good. We got company. Well, damage, we know what to shoot at first. Where'd that come from? Right here. Hetzer wield assault gun. Talk to me. Okay, he's moved. So let's give it to him. Um. Yeah, we do have ammo for the MRM. Beautiful. All right, so it just it doesn't really register it then. Uh, let's go with what's the incendiary? Twenty eight percent. We got tons of incendiary. Let's drop it on this guy. See if we can do some good damage to him. Roger. Yeah, nice damage. I mean, it's a start. Yeah, it's a start. He's closing. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I wish our allies could hit stuff. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, That's alright. We're going to work on it. Let's get up into here. Twenty percent on this guy. He's got a pair of rocket pack 15, so it's not that big of a deal. Wow. Let's just fire on this guy then. Yeah, a little bit of damage. Wonder if we can get the uh, SRM. SRM's close to that guy. Prowler. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's get down this way. Hopefully we can strike that rocket carrier next. Oh yeah, we got the tag barrage on here now too. Um I think we want, if we're going to do it, we want to do it this way. Sure. Affirmative. Let's just put it down there. Ready for orders. Can you get that rocket techie? You can't even see him, really. Want to push? Well, we're kind of hidden here. All right, let's get up here. Understood. Moving fast. This thing's actually not that bad. It's actually fairly well armored. Scorpion. 
a Jed. I have no idea what that is. Um, pair of BRs, eh? That's it? Alright. Oh well. We are a little far out. That didn't hit. Nope, it didn't. Well, we know where the next barrage is coming down, right in here. That's going to come from uh, Queen B. Okay, who do we got back here? What is this guy? That's a mortar. Light damage. Holding firm. Jenner. Oh. Oh, he's got swarms. Okay. Looks like he's already taken a bit of damage from something. Wonder if somebody accidentally damaged him somehow? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, who's this guy? Is that the Hetzer? No, it's a Vedette. Damn it, where is that Hetzer? Good to go. Okay, let's get over here. the chance on this guy really low 20% in the rocket techie he's taking some okay damage on the front 20 on the scorpion this guy is what he's got a jet he's got a pair of light rifles not much looks like it might be the rocket techie here yeah I think so there it is let's see if we can claim this guy no nope. All right, well, it is what it is. Here comes our fire bee. Not doing anything. Aye, aye. Jump around. Affirmative. Can you come over here? Okay, looks like we got a lance of guys over here. Centurion, Griffin, and the Jenner. Wow, really? Um, what's the delay on this thing? Is it every four turns? I think so. Generates 15 heat for the user. Two round cooldown ends your turn. Yeah. Got a lock. Okay. Well, it's going to help us kill those three vehicles at the start. Where's that Hetzer, though? Yeah, a little bit of damage. She's hard to hit, so not really that worried about it. Hope our barrage does some good damage to that vehicle. Okay. Standard Griffin. Comes that techie. Looks like he only fired one rocket. Hopefully our, our allies will claim that guy. I don't want to waste any missiles or any more stuff on that guy. There he is. So on the map board, guess what you get? Come on, finish him up. Come on. Well, I'm hoping that once we get in close range, cl close range with those SRMs, that we're going to shred that, uh, shred those guys. Let's get over here. Don't have to go too fast, but let's see if we can kill this guy. We're not going to kill him. Do some good damage, though. Here it comes. Oh, yeah! I wasn't expecting that. Nice. All 
Not the scorpion. Kill the uh, rocket techie. I think he's got one barrage of missiles left. If I'm not mistaken. Jed's backing up. I think he's going to try and take a pot shot. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're going to move and get stable next turn. Figure out what I'm going to do. Her positioning there is kind of nice because I think it's making their mechs think twice about moving in. So if we can delay them from a turn from moving closer, then maybe we can clean up a few more of these vehicles. There's nothing worse than trying to take on mechs when you got these nu nuisance vehicles driving around you, pot shotting you all the time. That's all you're firing is a laser? I wonder if he's got an AC-20 and it's out of range. It's a possibility. Rocket Tech, he's still got some good good stuff left on him. Prowler. Yeah, that evasion is doing working us working really well for her. Raj landed. I don't think we hit anybody. Alright. Yes, Who do we want? If we do anything, we're going to be standing still here. What's this guy? The Prowler? 30 and 37, eh? 17 with the dead fire. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Let's just fire on the Griffin. Firing on target. Gonna see if I can tag the Griffin with the barrage. Either that or we could try and tag one of these vehicles. We'll see here in a second what our chances to hit are. Then we're gonna jump behind one of the rocks. Get our stability back maybe for next turn and then... Although that's a nice cluster over there at Mex. Yeah, good luck hitting me. Good luck, you ain't hitting with chev seven or eight chevrons of evasion. Commander. Coordinates received. That's pretty darn good. Would that be a kill? This guy's only got an AC-5 though. It would probably be a kill. Uh, let's just go with standard ammo. Because we have more of it. We should get a kill off this, but we'll see. Yep, there it is. Reporting one left vehicle. Yeah, this, the, you know, those SRM-6s are kind of devastating once you're in close. I'm gonna. I'm worried about recoil though, but we'll have to see how it plays out here the next turn. Because the the pilot has got uh, minus one recoil reduction as well, so like hot shots minus one recoil reduction. I'm pretty sure I put his gunnery up to six. Who do we want to tag here? Okay, Queenie. Uh, let's tag up somebody. What's the chance on this guy? 38, eh? Let's just s look around here. Oh, 85. That's the rocket techie, though. We don't want that guy. He's too close. The Jed is another possibility. He's only got 80 armor on the top. 96 on the top. I mean, 80 on the sides. Prowler. He's taking a bit of damage. This guy looks like he's probably more of a threat. So let's open up on the Prowler. We want to get standard on those, that's right. Um, yeah. Affirmative. Hopefully we landed the Barrage. I, I don't know if we got him in or not, but we'll see in a second here. Uh, yeah, looks like we did. Let's get back here in the trees. Yeah, the land mech's kind of interesting. It, that that freedom of mobility, I think I want to get... Uh, someone was mentioning putting a, a C3 unit on it. I think I want to do that. See if I can get it on there and we can jump in, do the EWS ping, and use the C3 to help everyone else target. That's my goal. 
but we'll see how it goes. I want to get a C3 system going on my once we get up to heavier level mechs. Try and get it on everybody. Yeah, you do you. I've got your back. Okay, Hopper. That rocket techie's still there. That's the Centurion, eh? Um, can't get direct. We can get a side shot from here, though. Let's just sprint up. I mean, we could go after this vehicle. The rocket techie's a kill. But that... That's a hard shot. Nope. 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 26 on the on the Centurion. 32 in the Rocket Techie, eh? Okay, let's just do this. Switch this to standard ammo. And we'll fire one. Aye, aye. There we go. Our all 15 explosion. Okay, beautiful. Oof. Someone's got an AMS. Yeah, move to the mechs. <laughs> move to the mechs. Help me out. Okay, this guy's gonna go out. We're gonna go after this guy with uh, hot shot next. They've still got a lot of guys left, but they still got ten guys left. At least ten. It might be eleven. The, the uh, war criminal might have a a uh, wingman. Yeah, do your best. Okay, I think we're going to get... Uh, Standing by. Let's get Hot Shot down here. He should be nice and close to this guy. And I think we can switch to... Uh, let's go Inferno. I think we can do more damage with Inferno. And let's hammer this guy. Fire. Yeah, man. You got that right. AMS that. Beautiful. Max finally getting a chance to show what it can do here. Last few missions, it hasn't really had a good uh, opportunity to do what it can do here. Okay, we're going to come around here. Going to Vigilance. And let's take a shot. Uh, do I want to go after the Jenner? I think I do. This guy's not that big of a threat. The Jenner has got some long range stuff on it. A couple of swarms. Let's just go after this guy. And uh, yeah. Copy that. Our primary target is taking oh, that's the primary target? Talk to me. Uh, that's good to know. Because now that I know that. Now that I know that. Artemis is the same, eh? The standard, really? All right, well. Roger that. Enjoy it, buddy. That was a critical hit. There's a lot more where that came from. Here comes the uh, here comes the LR. Oh, uh, I was gonna say LRM 35, but it's only a LRM 30. He might lose his leg on this one. We'll see. Um, standard ammo. We could go Thunder. I think we do. I think we're going to go Thunder on this one. Because then if he tries to move, we might be able to claim the leg. Okay. Look at that nice juicy minefield. 
lay that new juicy minefield, white boy. Or black girl, I guess, on this one. Oh no, it's a white girl. Sorry, I keep getting her. I keep getting her acne and queen bee mixed up. Uh, oh, there's an urban mech back here. Where? Where? Okay, LRM-10. Damn it! I'm wounded. One thing I am noticing is a lot more head hits now. A lot more head hits than there used to be, that's for sure. Where's that urban mech? Hmm. Yeah, good luck with that. You do you, buddy. You do you. Oh, he's back here. Maybe the ambushers come from this side, I guess? All right, well. Boom. Thank you for moving in to where the Centurion was. It's much appreciated. Um... He ain't going anywhere. I want to thunder this guy or want to just... See, now I don't know if it's... Okay, he does have the main plus on him. These guys... Okay, I got to pay attention more. Everybody has told me this. I got to pay attention more. The plus on the, the, ha the hard plus, right? It's flashing on the top right. Beautiful. So I know who's who. That one's flashing, tells me that's from the support lance. That's the support lance. Support lance. Okay. I think I'm getting this, guys. This guy's got like one turn to get out, probably. So let's go with the standard ammo. Hopefully we can uh, take that leg. Is it a knockdown? Nope. He's not moving though. I think that was the guy, that was the main guy that just shot. Yes, Commander. Alright, let's give it to him. He wants it. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread girl. Okay, we're going to rain some death down on that guy. Hopefully we can clear him up. I'm going to put our SRMs probably on the vehicle to wipe it out. That guy's backing up. Okay. Yeah, I got to say I was really unsure about... Um, really unsure about this random... Uh, this guy's dead. Random... Um, drop zones and stuff, but I think I'm having a lot of fun with it. There it is. We ain't done, though. We ain't never done till we clear the field. That's too far away, anyway. He's got a... Maybe he's got a light gas rifle. Receiving you. Um... I wonder what our chance to hit's going to be. Could try and flank him this way. I think we probably should. want to be a little closer, though. Better chance to hit. We'll go this way. Still okay stability-wise, but he's up a hill, so it's going to be harder to hit. Um, light Gauss Rifle. ER Medium. So he's not going to be affected that much by heat. We can use standard ammo on him. And let's put the barrage on him. Hopefully we hit. No. Oh, we did. Beautiful. Enjoy it, buddy. I don't think it's on him, though. Well, maybe it is. It might just be that location. We're faster than him, so if he tries to chase us down, we can just run away. Alright, there's the Jed moving. 
That guy's really just a... If we can't shoot at anybody else, we'll shoot at the Jed target. The two light rifles really aren't a threat. I think they only do 30 damage. Kind of like a medium range weapon. I think it's 480 meters or something. So it's not that bad. Yeah. Alright. Minimal damage on that. I really like to get some extra light gyros. Uh okay, so that's evaporated now. That's a back shot, eh? Not very close, though. I mean, we could try and take out the Prowler. That's pretty good. And good range, too. Let's clear up the Prowler. Now that we've got the flank on them, we can get in behind the Centurion and the Griffin from over here. We're going to switch to uh, Inferno. Do some more damage on this guy. Here it comes. Okay, there's the kill. Nice. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Nicely done. Barrage is coming in at the end of this turn now. Got to worry about where that Centurion is going to move, though. Hopefully he doesn't try and close with me. But the Barrage is kind of nerfed anyway, so it's not doing a lot of damage. And if I was, if I was that worried about it, though, I could switch over to Incendiary and just heat him up so he can't really move. Um, Centurion? How are we doing here? Not bad. Um, let's drop a minefield on him. I'm really hoping to get that light goss. So if we can pull his legs, that would be nice. Maybe I will drop the incendiaries on him just to heat him up. When does Hopper go? He goes before the Centurion. So we'll go ahead and drop the incendiaries on him. Okay. Uh, let's go Hopper first. Incendiaries. On Cha. 44% taking it. Here it comes. Beautiful, nice and warm now. Shouldn't be able to move very far, and that barrage should heat him up a tremendous amount. So we're going to jump in. Actually, we're suffering from heat problems here. Uh, let's just brace it. There's no point rushing it. No point rushing it. We're not in threat of being attacked, so... Brace it up. Get our heat back. Now, we do have an exchange runner, so... It helps a little bit, but... Not enough. Okay, Centurion moved forward. It looks like he can't get it. Yeah, we, we didn't hit him. We put it right at his feet, though. But he couldn't get out of the... Uh, yeah, he couldn't get out of the circle. Yep. So he's going to take back damage. We're going to come around behind him and put some uh, SRMs up his keister. Oh, nice shot, buddy. But then again, I'm not moving, so... Not that nice of a shot. some thunder on this guy again. Thunder all the way. Waiting for orders. Well, it looks like we can't. Not without running into the heat. So, let's do this. Just going to move the camera around a little bit. Uh, where is it? Back here? A little far for range, but we got the ammo, so let's bring it around. Bring it around town. 
And let's switch to LK for better chances to hit. And then we'll put it right up to this guy's backside. LRM 20 is down. Nice. Inflicted some heavy damage. Looking over his shoulder at us now. It's like, what? Where did you come from? Look at the heater in that guy. We're about to shut him down in a second here. Hopper's going to use incendiary again. Or at least get his movement down so it's so slow that he can't really go anywhere. Yeah, beautiful. Kill that guy for me. Or do six points of damage. Whatever works for you. Whatever works for you. Alright. Uh, Queen B. How are we doing? I'm going to switch the camera back around to this side again. Commander. Alright. Heat's dropped. Let's jump. Let's go to here. Engaging dump jet. Now I think I'm going to just go ahead and do this with the Baraji. Confirmed. Beautiful. That's all we're doing. See if we can get this guy to bail. The Light Goss probably means he's got some half decent tech, so... If we can get some good stuff out of him, that's great. That Jenner that went down, eh, you know, it's okay. Okay, took a little bit of damage in his legs, but not much. He's getting out of that barrage. Let's see if we can overheat him. How can I help? This guy needs to be a little toasty. Do you mind heating him up for me, please? Ooh, 80%. And the handheld MRM-10 finally comes into play. Let's fire it and see what happens. There's the LRMs. SRMs. Are they... Oh, well. That's one less hostile on the field. Whoops. My bad. That's nice. Now if we can just get some speed on this archer. Get him into some direct fire with the MRMs at medium range. Get the dead fire ammo going. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Alright. Um, Griffin's turn. How much thunder we got left? 25? Uh, let's switch these to just standard LRMs then. And fire... Eh, whatever. No LRM remaining. Okay, so we got... There must be a full lance over here somewhere. There's got to be. Yes, Commander. Can't get a back shot, eh? Well, just burrow through his side if you can. Get nice and close. Let's give him the what for. Firing on Critical hit, Commander. Nicely done. I love the new AI. My god, I'm in love with it. The fact that he moved forward and turned so I couldn't get behind him. Yes. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um You need to start coming back this way, because we got guys over here we have to worry about now. Don't worry about that vehicle. We're going to let Hotshot finish up the vehicle probably, and most likely the Griffin too. I want to rotate now and find out what's uh, on the other side. We know there's at least one Urban Mech there. Whatever it is, it's probably a slow lance, so it could be a lance of Urbies, maybe. Talk to me. Okay, we're going to sprint up this way and try and keep our... There we go. Isn't very fast. Okay, target this guy. Let's switch to standard and fire. It's a whole lot of twos, but whatever. Soften them up a little bit. Okay, there's an urban mech there. Oh, a little bit of lag. He's coming over here to scout out what's going on, I think. I think he spotted that Irby and he's like, hmm, I wonder what that is. He didn't fire, though. 
Yeah, I messed the camera up. Sorry, guys. The Urban Mac didn't fire, so I'm wondering if um, it's got like an AC-20 or something. Ooh, wouldn't it be nice if it was the uh, heavy MRM loaded? One. Artillery. I hope we get another lamb mech, because here's, here's my thought about the lambs. I'd, I'd love to be able to have an additional lamb mech so that we could do... Um, that Irby's got to be really far away. So that we could do um, base destruction mix missions with a pair of lambs armed with... Uh, oh, he disappeared. A uh, pair of a uh, lambs armed... Why are we running out of ammo so fast here? Um, oh, we got 95. All right. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, a pair of lambs with uh, with barrages that could just jump into the base, target it, and jump out, and just wreck it that way, and not have to worry about fighting a lot of mechs to so just go for sea bills. No, that guy's done. Aye, aye. All right, B, we need you over here. Uh, let's get down behind this hill. See if we can get a spot. Confirm. Okay, we got... Yeah, it could be a Lance of Urban Max. I don't think our EW, EWS ping is going to do anything at this point. So... Yeah, they were probably coming from back there further. Oh. Ooh, what's that? Another one back here. Oh, it's a 2C. What is that? That, my friends. Another one. 2C. Two looks like two 2Cs. That's a pr pretty heavily armed urban mech unit. It's sad when the... Uh, I've got your back. We're going to be getting most of our uh, good gear off urban mechs, but whatever. We'll take it. This is the guy that fired the PPC. So let's... Uh, let him know we see him and we can warm him up a little bit here. Affirmative. One laser. That looks like that's making him nice and toasty. Enjoy it, buddy. Okay. Like two medium lasers. Alright, but uh we finish this guy up. Finally get our stability back now. Beautiful. And let's just end this guy. Firing on rear arc. Ooh, not quite. Solid connection on that one. Good damage though. Making him think twice about his life choices. I just work with these guys. Reminds me of the movie Blade. When he loses it, goes into the... Uh, I think, maybe was it Blade 2? Might have been Blade 1. I think it was Blade 1. Where he goes into the the uh, building where uh, Frost was. He starts killing all the guards that are there. And the one guy's like, I just work for them! And he kills them. Kills them anyway. Doesn't matter if you work for them or not. Just work for them or not. Oh, nice shot, buddy. You're still meat, but nice shot. Yes, Commander. All right, we need to get you closer fast because you've got serums that we need to use. And we're running out of LRMs. We've got a whole lance of guys to take care of. Um, what do we got going on around here? 30% on that guy. No, we have no thunder left. So this guy's got a regular clan Gauss rifle, ER medium laser, ER small. Heavy Gauss rifle, HA-20. Wow, these guys have got good gear. Who cares about the jet? Come on, get me back over here. There we go. This guy, we don't have no idea what he's got because apparently this is the stealth urban mech. <laughs> the ER-25 is not stealth. 
plasma cannon ER and ER small. Well, Hold off on these. Let's just go with the Inferno for now. Acknowledged. I'm just going to run around behind you here real quick. And let's finish you up. We got, what, 24 shots? Sure. Let's use the LK up on this guy. There goes the Griffin. Uh, double heat. Oh, maybe the double heat sink kit is still available. Maybe. Maybe not. If it is, I want it. That's going to be a game changer. Double heat sink kits and all our mechs. It's going to change what we can load out, right? Right now, it's such a difficult uh, decision what to load in. Um. Let's keep this guy freaking toasty. This is the guy I care about the, well, almost the least. At least he won't be using that plasma cannon anytime soon. Okay. He's a little far away to get some good accuracy going. We're going to need to close on these guys. Okay, the trap's coming over now. Uh, can we get in close and ping these guys from a place where they can't see us? Hmm. Barrage is not up and ready, though. Let's get into here. Copy that. And then... We're going to... Vigilance to help with initiative next turn, and we're going to target this guy in the backside and fire. Enemy oh, it's the rocket version. Okay, a little bit of damage. We can't really get to a part place where I want the ping to work. So, plus these guys are moving so slow, the ping's not really going to help that much anyway. They don't really have any evasion. Hot shot, I need you back over here fast, man. So, don't mess around with that Jed too long. Gonna move as far forward as we can and yet fire back on him at the same time and hopefully kill him in one shot. Okay, like carrier moving in. Not doing anything. I wonder if it's out of ammo. Okay, he's backing up. I don't know if he's turning, though. Okay, if you're going to expend those on anybody, the archer is the one to do it on. He fired them all. Beautiful. That's what I want. Can we not get that other guy down there? I'm crying out loud. Let's get into here. <sighs> really? Once again, we're just going to fire on the R25 with just SRMs. Um, doesn't matter what we shoot at them now. Wait, not the LRMs, SRMs. Let's just use the LK on them. Yes, Commander. All right. Um, Okay, let's use this on you. And firing. firing on target. Whether that barrage is on him or in that hex doesn't really matter. He's not going to be able to do a damn thing about it. Let's just jump to here. Enjoy the barrage, buddy. Ready for orders. All right, let's spin it up this way. How far can you go? 
Still target that guy. Probably a little further. No? Really? Let's go from this side. Let's go right here. Come on. There you go. Roger. Full speed. There you go. You should be able to get into battle. Uh, we got four rounds of LK left. Let's use the Inferno on this guy. Should we drop the barrage on him? Probably it's going to be three turns before we get over there, so... There's the barrage. Target's taking a critical hit. Don't think it's on him, though. It might be right beside him. You've got my attention. Do I? Hmm. Affirmative. Hmm. This guy's overheating, so he's trying to get out of the, out of the way. I wonder if we continue with that. Let's do it. Let's keep him nice and toasty. That was a critical hit. Eventually, he'll go down. I'm really hoping that we can get some good salvage off these guys. We've been... I, I, I keep forgetting we got... There's like... Loop Magnet is like... Is on, so... Um, it's... Sometimes I'm like, Whoa, where's all the gear? But then I keep forgetting that the... Uh, people we work for take some of it, so... Okay, that guy's starting to get a little more accurate. He's trying to get his ECM on them. He's got no, like, this guy's got nothing to shoot. That guy still had rockets. He might have rocket packs. I'm wondering if that's what it is. Yeah, he's got, like, nothing left here. Where are you going? Oh, stop. It's only worthwhile if you can get the kill on him. The guy, this, this guy's driving in to get his ECM going. Or he's going to crash into him or something. I don't know. Doesn't say he's got a suspicious cargo or anything. Order. Yeah, forget that guy. Just make sure you're turned. Get up here. Got a couple more turns before you're here, so... You get your barrage back by the time you're over here. Although, I don't know. It's at least three turns more after that. Unless this guy keeps going this way. Ooh, what's that? Yes, Commander. Eesh. HA-30 is probably better to take a direct shot from. Let's move over here. Let's get onto this guy. Uh, switching over to Inferno and Deadfire. And, uh, yeah, enjoy this. A lot of double heat sinks destroyed, but whatever. These guys need to drop. We're starting to run out of ammo. Starting to run out of ammo. The funny thing is, is I was like, I was up and I had like a toss up how much ammo I wanted to load on my guys. Because like, I usually run around 10 or 12 turns of firing. But now that we've got, Man. you know, now that there's the, uh, oof, where do we want to go? Let's get into here. Oh, wait. Are we jumping into the... Oh, we better not be. No, we're just on the outside. Beautiful. Hopefully he doesn't come over to where we are. Um, but now that they, there's so many enemies, it's like I, I have no idea how much ammo to take, so I have no idea how long we're going to be fighting. This is, we could knock this guy down. Do we do that? This is really good chance to hit, though. He's got the barrage incoming. Most likely it'll claim that torso. So let's not go after him. Um, let's knock the guy down. That guy doesn't really have anything left. Let's try and knock this guy down. That should be a knockdown. There it is. 
A bitter pill, eh? Okay, he's lost two health now. Don't move towards me. Damn you! <laughs> Damn it! I'm barraging myself. Oh well. Can't win it all. Can't win them all. Alright, uh, I don't think you need to move, buddy. Let's just stay here. Want to incendiary this guy or this guy? This guy's like overheating. That guy's down. He's going to die. Oof. 26, eh? He got, he's, has to have ECM. That's the guy lying down. That's the guy that's getting a barrage. There's the other guy back there. Let's use the incendiary on this guy. He's not generating much heat anyway, but... Let's let him know we see him. Plus 33. Not bad. Come on, bail out. You know you want to. You know you want to bail out. Nope. Can't have it. Can't have it. Oh! He's got a tag. He missed, though. Or did he get me? Looks like he might have gotten me. Come on, finish up this Jed. Nope. Nope. Sure, overheat yourself, why not? Yeah, how much are we taking? A little bit. Wait, kill confirmed? Who did we kill? The, oh, the vehicle died somehow. Oh, right, because we had the barrage on it. That's... Oh, man. I'm so stupid. Moving out. Okay, let's finish this guy up. Let's just get rid of him. And we're going to switch to Inferno. Firing on target. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you, buddy. There is no shame in ejecting like that. There is no shame. Okay. At least he didn't hit me. Alright, B. Uh, how hot are you? Pretty darn hot. That's way too hot. Uh, let's just go here. Vigilance and brace. Standing by. Come on, buddy. Bust that move. Ain't no telling when I'm down for a jack move. Let's go. All right, taking a bit of damage. These urban mechs are putting up a good fight. Orders. Uh, is it on me? Nope, it's not. Beautiful. Yeah, I might have saw him outside the, the range here. Alright, who do we cook? This guy, probably. That's going to be a kill. We're going to lose the uh, Gauss Rifle. Wow, it has got nothing left. <sighs> if I shoot him, he's definitely going to die. That's the guy that's close. That's the guy that's farther away. Let's fire on him. Confirm. Warm them up a bit. Probably a leg, leg hits there. Probably. Punch right through his armor. Yeah, man. Incendiary's out. You mean? Yeah, I think we got enough ammo. I mean, it's tough to say how. Like, if you're doing a long range battle and you're not moving in and fighting, you're gonna need a lot of ammo. And our guys aren't really brawlers. Like, we've got the one brawler. Yeah. I'll break him in hey, I'm inspired. Commander. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. Oh, you can get into it. Ooh, you can see. That's probably going to be tagged, though, I bet you. Oh, ER mediums. Beautiful. 
One hit. Let's make them panic. Let's get some height. I'm gonna go after this other Urbamech. This one right here. Keep the SRM Inferno on. Deadfire is gonna shred him too much, I think. He's going down no matter what, though. There's no way we're going to save much off this guy. Off any of these guys. So let's minimize our damage if we can. It's going down. Come on, eject, buddy. Nope. Rather take the damage. Well, we could try for headshots. Drop a Lerm 20 on him with a headshot. Oh, see ya. Alright, B. How hot are you? Pretty darn hot. Let's not move. Let's just shoot at this guy. What's our range? Pretty darn good. Ooh. Pot shot his head. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter what we leave off. This is five chances to hit. So let's go this way. Nah. You've got my attention. Do I? Wow, Artemis Ammo was kind of like the last thing we used on this mission. That hand handheld MRM is coming in handy for a little extra damage on this archer. Kind of liking it for direct fire. Sorry, it's a, it's my handheld Panzerfaust. I right, finish him up. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, he's standing up again, and he shut down. Uh, where did that guy go? He sensor no. Let's get in as far as we can go this way. Can we spot him? No. Nope. Alright, well, we had to take the chance. See if we can hit this guy. Probably not. Nope. Yeah, that's alright. That's alright. Can't win them all. Here comes the treb. the Treb's out of ammo. Alright, hammer this guy. Here it comes. You for me do this. Take that as a lesson. Oh, you won't take it as a lesson. He's not going to learn his lesson in this battle. He's going to be dead and it won't oh, matter anymore. Um... I know where you are, because I can't land on you. You're right there. You shut down. Let's pot shot that head. Ah, really? Oh, come on. Do we overheat? No, I don't want to shut down. Yeah. Oh, we bailed out! Yes! Waiting for orders. This guy might not be alive by the time you get here, buddy, but at least you got one shot off. At least you got one shot off. I think this guy's still got a medium laser left. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. All right, let's see what we do here. All right, Arachne. 
We got a solid line. There we go. There we go. Here's the end of this guy. Dead fire. He's hard to hit though, eh? Let's just go risk uh, LK. Here it comes. Oh, that was his fully armored side. Oh, he's okay still. I thought he was turned the other way. I keep forgetting these guys can shoot in 360 degrees. Right? So you could be facing one way and shoot the guy behind you. Manage our heat a little bit this way. Uh, yeah, we can get everything on him. Panic level critical. Wonder if Hotshot's going to get a chance to finish him up. Well, he'll die. Or he bail here. No? Nope. All right, he's dead now. See ya. Target confirmed. Yeah, you ain't surviving that. That's one less hostile. All right, there it is, folks. Mission successful. Okay, we are looking. What the hell? We're looking for uh, direct upgrades for our mechs. Uh, what is this? Two reputation for compellence, two reputation with palantary government. Contract payment increased by 2,000. What does that even mean? 2,000 what? C bills? And 11%? Probably? Anyway, regardless, that's a nice little chunk of change. It'll definitely repair our mechs. Now I'm still up in the air as to what this means. Oh, maybe it is the uh, eject. I don't know. We didn't get that many mechs that ejected, though. Maybe these are assists. Don't know. Okay, let's see what we got here. We could take another Centurion, but we're looking for direct upgrades, although... Urban Mech 2C. Ballistic and Laser. 2C2, 2CG. One ballistic, two laser, and a support hard point. All right, we're not looking for those though. How much is this way? Ten tons. We need to take hyper goss rifle ammo. This is nice though. The light goss is how much? Twelve tons. How is that light? Oh, I guess it's for the range though. Thousand meters. LBX ten. I know we've been looking for that. That's 11 tons. It's not a bad weapon. A couple of medium pulses. Another tag barrage. Regular clan armor. That'll save us some weight on a couple of our mechs if we take that. I'm going to toss it in there for now. Thumper artillery. 15 tons though. We don't really have a mech that can carry that. Oh, there's the C3 unit. We, I think we have one of these. No, we don't. That's a possibility. I'm going to drop it there. Composite endo steel. We don't need either of those. Artemis 3 plus 6 to clustering. Fire control system Goss. We got the Goss. Well, here's the thing. We take the Goss rifle, we got to take the ammo too, right? Pharaoh clan. Hardened armor. Ah, I lost my mouse. Come on. Nope. Not going to do it. Unplug. Plug it back in. There you go. Let's work now. There you go. Times two armor points. Times two armor points. Times two armor weight. It's kind of nice if we had if we needed a like if we had a tanky mech that would be perfect. Like that's that's a that's a non-brainer right there. Recon sensors. I wish it gave you the description of what it alters here. Is there no way to get info on this? Is it shift? No. Control? No. Alt? No. I thought the recon sensors were the one that gave us the bonus at long range. Okay, we do have hyper-goss, double 
That's 40 shots for the... How? Why would you need 40 shots for the light goss? Thumper ammo too, eh? Uh... <laughs> Okay, this would go into the lamb mech. We've only got two mechs that don't have regular armor, and I think they both have feral fibers now, so we don't need that. Um, a regular AC5. I don't like Goss, though. It's 12 times. I don't know. I mean, we could put it on an urban mech, but it's going to eat up so much weight. So much weight. It's weird to see clan gear this early, too. Um, I'm going to take another quick look through here. Yeah, the barrage. We've got two of them. We don't need any more than that. I wish I knew what these... Uh, oh, there's the breaching shot. Plus three Gauss accuracy. I mean, we could go for a total Gauss. Oh, is the fire control system approved? Plus one gunnery. Man, it's really... I think we can probably leave the Gauss out for now. Because be, with being 12 tons and not having a heavy mech to be able to run it, it's kind of frustrating. So if we go one... I don't know. Such a hard choice. This doubles the armor weight, though. What would we put it? Where would it go? That that would be the thing. Double heat. Ah, oh, man. I should just take double heat sinks, so we can at least get an energy build going. Because right now we can't do an energy build. Somebody's blowing up my phone. Why I'm getting a thousand texts? I have no idea. It's probably my kid. Knowing that I'm recording, it's like, Dad, I need you for a second. Well, I'll be done in a second, kiddo. All right, uh, LBX cluster ammo, 10 shots. Now, I don't know if we have any LBX ammo. Still blowing up my phone. Kids, man, can't live with them. Can't shoot them. If we do, if we do put an urban mech with the light Goss rifle, then we're dealing with like a 60 engine. And the 60 engine would be um, like no movement, and we'd be have one mech with a 50 50 damage weapon from long range. Um, the LBX 10 is not bad, but we've only got one ton of ammo. Hardened armor is also really nice too, though. Ah. Come on, man. Shit or get off the pot here. Plus three got... I mean, we're I'm bound to find that later on. Artemis, we don't really need it unless we can find, like, another... <sighs> More advanced guiding control for missiles of all types. Plus six cluster... I mean, we could use this for the SRM boat. But then we'd be pulling off the recoil reduction, which is annoying. So this plus one gunnery, um, that's a possibility. All right, where was I? It was my kid scolding me for not answering the phone. It was my wife texting me to see what I wanted for dinner. But they never text bomb my phone, so I didn't think it was them. I thought it was my kid. And my kid's getting mad at me for thinking it was it was them. And when did I ever text you in the house? Well, never, but you're the only one that text bombs me, so I figured it was you. All right, where the hell was I now? Light Goss Rifle. HA-20, though. This is like 10 tons. Now, was there Hyper Goss ammo? That's the question. I can't remember. Hyper Goss ammo. How many rounds? 12 shots. That's actually reasonable. For 10 tons. Uh, 5 times 2 times 10. Mom called you a baby. I'm recording. Goodbye. All right, five times two times ten. Five damage times two shots times ten shots, I guess. Uh, 
I don't know, man. It's still weighty. We don't really have anything that can matter. I mean, although the, the Centurion could. But I'm wondering if we're better off with the LBX with the plus 50% crit chance. Plus one accuracy, plus one evasion ignore. Cluster is after 130 meters, so you have to be at kind of at medium range. Accuracy weapons against VTOL. Now, what is this? Does this give us any accuracy bonus? It doesn't. And it's got damage fall off. All right, so I made my mind. Let's go with the LBX-10. That can go in the Centurion. Where are you here? So we can get the Centurion back up and running. And then it can get its arm blown off again. Uh, where are you here? Down here. LBX cluster. Let's go with that. All right, I've made up my mind. Herbamech part one. All right, not bad. Regular AC5. We'll hang on to that just in case. This can go. This can go. Thumper we're going to hang on to. That's nice. Oh, we got the cockpit. Beautiful. Composite armor. Minus structure points. Minus weight. Now, that would be good for an LRM boat. So I'm going to hang on to that for now. We've got the Goss fire control system. Are you kidding me? And thumper ammo. My God. How many shots? 20 rounds. AOE damage. Are you kidding me? Heat 20. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good haul off this mission. I'm really happy with that uh, with that roll. All right, 55,000. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, so I'm going to get these mechs updated between uh, episodes here. When we come back next episode, Hotshot's going to be out. But we'll bring another pilot in. And then um, we'll take one more mission on this planet and then jump. I'm going to look for another two-skull world. It's relatively cool, not overheated. Um, but probably uh, still along the border somewhere if I can find one. So we can go up against some Capellans or whatever. Uh, there's a potential for some good gear from them, I've been told. So I'm going to look for that. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.